Hey folks, today we're going to go ahead and talk about and assemble the SA Sports Empire Baywolf. It's a 175 pound draw weight bow that shoots about 360 feet per second. But not only is this a great high end bow at a great price, but it's also compact and lightweight enough for any girl or guy to enjoy shooting. But before we get into the assembly process, I want to go ahead and show you all the components that comes in your crossbow package. Lightweight integrated synthetic stock and barrel. Riser with two string stopper. Cable slide. Quiver with three bolts. Quiver side mount. 4x32 multi range crossbow scope and Allen key. Nose bolt. Three grub screws rail lube, a set of allen keys, and rope caulking device. One, let's take and attach the cable slide to the cables with the cable separators facing downwards. So what you want to do is these two grooves right here, let's put it between the cables push down on it to hear them snap and slide it towards the center as you can see in the back of it cables are separated with the cable slide connect the barrel and the riser by inserting the cable slide into the barrel so what you want to do is that groove right here it's going to go into this little groove underneath here. So you want to grab your riser, put your thumb on the slide, push down slightly, and make sure that that groove is there. Now very important, there are two ears on the riser that need to slide onto the two grooves on top of your barrel, like so. Alright, what we're going to do now is insert the nose bolt to connect the riser to your barrel. Flip it around. And this long bolt with the washer is your nose bolt. And that's going to go into the center of this. So you're going to do a slide in, wiggle it in, and make sure it's on there. If you have to, just move the riser up and down a little. So doesn't make that much pressure and you can go ahead and hand tighten it. Once you do that, just get your Allen key. Once you start it and just tighten it all the way down. Okay, once we finish that tightening, real good, the nose bolt. What you want to do in the center here is grab one of your grub screws and that's going to go here into the center. Just go ahead and hand tighten it, go all the way down, grab the Allen key for that, and tighten that. What this does, it locks the nose bolt down so it doesn't vibrate out. Alright, number five, inserting your foot stirrup. What you want to do is make sure these grooves on your foot stirrups are facing up towards your grub screws. You want to go ahead and stick them in these two slots here in the front. Come right in. Grab the eye key. I usually put the grub screw right onto it. Put it right in. And just tighten it. It should fall right into that groove. Okay, we attached everything else to the bow already. We got front riser, foot stirrup, locked it all in. 
Now we're going to go ahead and mount the bracket for the quiver. This is the side mount bracket. Usually the way I like to mount it here on the pig and tee rail is two slots back. One, two, and right about here. So what you want to do is loosen your screws. Once you loosen them up, push them back, come over, get on there, sit down there, and that's it. You're ready to mount it on there. Once that is, you see the screws come out a little. All you gotta do is go ahead and just tighten them up. There you go. Okay, once we attach the side mount bracket for the quiver, all you have to do is release the latch and slide in the quiver right into there. Once it's all the way in, go ahead and lock it again. And the quiver is nice and firm. Okay, one of the last things you're going to want to do is mount your scope onto your crossbow. Okay, first thing you're going to do is loosen your locking bolt screws, the two in the bottom here, and your four strap screws that are on top of your rings. That way you can move the rings into position as needed. Once you do that, you can go ahead, and I usually like putting it two slots back on my base here, on these cross slots. So I went ahead, pull it back, place the first one there, and the second one, and put it there. Once I do that, I can go ahead and tighten my locking bolt screws. Now that you've finished tightening your two locking bolt screws, you want to go ahead and pick up your crossbow and look through it. And you can go ahead and adjust your scope back and forth so that way you can see perfectly through your eye release. And right or left, so that way you can line up your windage and your elevation perfectly straight. Once you do that, you can go ahead and tighten your four strap screws on top. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and sight in your bow. Okay, we just finished assembling the crossbow. So now anytime you take it out hunting or shooting, what you want to do is add a fair amount of rail loop across the top of your rail. You can even add a little bit on your string. You're going to get your finger and spread it out evenly. What this is going to do is going to help protect the string and let your bolt glide easier when shooting it. Now you're ready to enjoy your bow. Hey folks, so we finally finished assembling the SA Sports Empire Bay Wolf Crossbow. I'm Peter Bofield. Until next time, enjoy the outdoors and be safe.